So, you're interested in automating your composite's layup process. With so many machine tool types and options available, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Gantry versus robot, external axes such as rotisseries, linear tracks, how do you even know where to begin? Starting with machine-independent software, such as Vericut Composites Programming (VCP) and Vericut Composite Simulation (VCS) is a great idea. With programming software, you can experiment and get answers to basic questions, such as, what material width works best for my part? Here you see the designer experimenting with 8th inch wide material on a spar part. The user can check for defects such as ply angle deviation, steering, and areas of inadequate roller compression well before the machine purchase. You can even use this information to aid in your machine selection process. All of the data in VCP can be exported into a report for further analysis to ensure that all of the engineering requirements are still met after the tape is positioned on the layup tool. VCP offers a variety of built-in linking strategies. Linking is where the user defines the order and technique the machine should lay up these courses. In this scenario, the user selects the option to automatically order the courses for a spinning rotisserie type part. With VCS, the user can see that same part coming to life on an electro-impact robot, complete with a linear track and a rotisserie. With Industry 4.0 and the availability of digital twins, creating a simulation of your part before purchase makes all the sense in the world. With simulation software, you can get answers to basic questions, such as, how large of a shop space will I require? How many machines will I need? How much material does one part take to build? You can also use simulation software to get answers to more forward-thinking questions, such as, what is the cycle time to build my part with automated fiber placement? How many parts can I produce in a day? How much time and material am I saving by switching to automated fiber placement? All of this information will allow you to create an ROI study to help decide if automation is right for you. With VCP, experimenting with different material widths is simple. Here you can see the designer decided to use quarter-inch material and rerun the analysis from before. This is because different material widths will lead to different results in ply angle deviation, material steering, and roller compression. By comparing the results with the eighth inch material, the designer can decide which material width works best for this spar part. You can also see that the user decided to lay up the same spar part on a stationary gantry machine instead of the rotating part and robot as seen before. With VCP, users can easily take one part program and run it on different machine types, allowing the user to decide what machine type works best for their shop.